Blog Talk Radio. Basically. What the hell is that? I'm sorry. Um, 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 um. I do have the power to do it, but if I did that, then I would have to um, I'd have to do the lead on the show, and you know, you're better at that than I am. Ah, uh, no, we're no better than anyone else on this show. We're all equal parts here, one, two, and three, right here. <laughs> and uh, I think you know, without any of us right here, this wouldn't work. So, anyway, welcome in, guys. Man, good to talk to you guys. Uh, man, it's been a long week and uh, a lot of uh, things going on in the news. Um. There's some cheaters out there uh, that are going to go to the Super Bowl, and that kind of upsets me right there. What but, else uh, is new? <laughs> <laughs> I know, but anyway. You know what? You know what? Before, we, we, before we go any further, as a Vikings fan, I'm just happy as fuck that Green Bay is out. Woo! Oh, man. I got a, I got a question. Fuck it, Green Bay. <laughs> how That's bad, right. How, you bad, know. how bad do you feel right now if your name is Brandon Bostick? <laughs> Uh, you, you know, I mean, probably look, about I mean, as bad what? as a as a Viking named Anderson did in 1999. So, <laughs> you know, it's just one of those. I'm and just going to leave it at that. <laughs> my first day back to work since my uh, knee injury was Sunday, and on my way to work, I'm listening to the game on the radio, and you know. Green Bay's up 19 to nothing. I get to work. I'm like, oh, no big deal. Well, you know, another one of my colleagues got to work. Say, oh, yeah, they scored seven points on a, it was like a fake field goal or something. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, it's 19 to seven. You know, Green well, Bay's been dominating thing, the game. The funny thing. Oh, let me let me tell you something about that. I was on I was on Twitter. Um, get the cash register ready. I was on t- Twitter on our Twitter page at Will and Thunder. Um, where the <laughs> hell? Why isn't it working? <laughs> Oh boy! I did. I did. I did it anyway. Wait, wait. Do that anyway. again, Will. Just one more time. You were where? Okay, I, I was on our. I was on our Twitter page um, at Will and Thunder. <laughs> Thank there you. And um, and people were people were saying that 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 punter should replace Russell Wilson as quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> and that's 
horrible. But anyway, I mean, on, on the same note right there, I mean, I guess the Seahawks were playing that horrible. But then they come back, and they scored, what, 15 points in 44 seconds? Something like that, At yeah. the end of the game? I mean, it was ridiculous. And, I mean, I couldn't believe that they actually won the game. And then, then you go to the next game right there where it's a blowout. I mean, 45-7, to seven, Patriots just totally annihilated the, you know, Indianapolis Colts. But then during the game, there was an interception by the Indianapolis Colts. And the safety who intercepted the ball went to the sidelines of the ball and goes, there's something wrong here. Now, and for people who don't know football, each team brings 12 balls to the game, and they interchange the balls constantly. And right. the ball has to be – between 12.5 pounds of pressure and 13.5 pounds of pressure. Because if it's elevated, the ball will sail further and you can throw it further with a little bit of, you know, because of air. There. And if it's softer than that, it's easier to catch, easier to hand off and handle because, you know, the pressure's not in the ball and, you know, kind of, it's softer. And it was raining so when he like inter- the entire day. It was raining right? like the entire so, day. So, which makes it harder to handle, or, you know, the, the ball – at his right to pressure. So, anyway, the Colt intercepts the ball, brings it to the sideline, and tells the trainer, look, there's something wrong with this right here. It seems a little, you know, off right here. So, the trainer takes it, and he calls upstairs and tells him, look, this ball right here is underinflated. So, his balls so, weren't as big as expected. No, no. Well, you know, <laughs> hey, that's a Patriots right there. A lot of talk, but no his big balls. balls were were not up to up to snuff. <laughs> Exactly. So well, they, they on, call upstairs and upstairs before, call. Go ahead. Before we uh, before we get onto that, I saw I saw a picture online that was a a still shot from the game, and the and the ref the ref's hand was right between um was like right between you know like right behind a Colts player and in the picture, you know at first glance it kind of looks like the ref has his um has his hand up the Colts player's ass and it says. <laughs> it, says, it, says, it says, shut up, Colts. We just found the deflated balls. <laughs> oh, my so God. Horrible. Anyway, well, they're in the process right now of testing all of the footballs that the Patriots had. If they cheated again, they're going to lose some draft picks next year. But you have to look at things this way right here. They're going to the How would Super you like Bowl to have that job? To, how would you like to have that job to be a ball tester? <laughs> my wife loves it. Yeah, I was going to say, I guess if you're a female, it's not so bad, but... Hey, yeah, exactly. Anyway. But anyway... Uh, a straight female. <laughs> so they're going to test the balls, and if, if they get caught, they're going to lose some draft picks, which is no big deal right there. If you're in it with a team right now, like Belichick, who's been in the league for so long, and he's probably going to retire in a couple of years, and Brady's you know got one year left, and they're going to lose players, and they're, you know... They don't care about draft picks. I mean, the heyday's over. You know, they're going to go back to a building period. So, therefore, it's not a big deal. Look, if we lose a couple draft picks, why does it matter? If we can go win a Super Bowl this year by cheating, why not do this? Well, you know what? I hope that um, – I mean, I, I hate to say this as much as I cannot stand the Patriots. Um, I want them to win the Super Bowl. You know why? So, you're going to be an they, asterisk by it. No, I don't care about the asterisks, and I'm not, I don't even think they're – I I don't think there's much to this um, this particular scandal. So your brother-in-law can give you tickets, to, free tickets to the game. <laughs> well, not not even that. Um, but I want them to win so that maybe if Tom Brady gets that fourth Super Bowl ring, he'll freaking retire. Well, you know, here's the thing. What makes me mad? When you take a person like Pete Rose, who was one of the greatest icons in baseball, and with one mistake, has was kicked out of baseball, cannot get into the Hall of Fame, and is exonerated from baseball, period. His name can't even be mentioned in anything that's baseball. And, and does that not Bellinati. piss you off? Does that not piss you, you off considering that a, a douchebag, scumbucket, asshole, piece of shit like Michael Vick still has a fucking job when that piece of crap should be just – he shouldn't even be allowed to work at a fucking McDonald's, okay? And yet Pete Rose, for doing something that pretty much everyone does, which is gamble, I mean, yeah, he probably shouldn't have done it, but come on, we give this piece of crap another chance, and everybody says, oh, he has a right to, to earn a living. Fuck him. I'm saying it all, out there, all you Michael Vick defenders, fuck him, and fuck you too. Damn. Well, 
Oh, you know. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I mean, I could also tell the Michael Vick defender. Take a cell tablet. Basically. <laughs> well, what I'm saying is here, the difference is what well, Michael Vick did. Tablet. Okay, okay. Well, Michael Vick right, did not, no, is no, a no, different no, no. situation. Oh, hold on. I'm drawing, I'm and we're not going to go. Hold on real quick. What I'm Michael Vick did is, it is a criminal thing. What I'm talking about is a crime against the game that he, he, he's in charge of. Like, uh, Pete well, Rose. Right, did. but that's what I mean. Like, I mean, okay, well, what I'm saying is here. Now, you know, now Belichick right here. do something really all that bad in the context of the big picture. What Pete Rose did was really not all that bad oh, yeah. compared, but yet this guy is going to get shunned from the Hall of Fame for all his accomplishments and everything that he did because yeah. of this, but yet this other piece of crap is going to keep on earning a living for something we all know was morally wrong and just well, hold bad. On. Hold, hold right. on, hold on here, hold on here. Um I mean, karma did come back and bite him in the ass, you know. I mean, he did wind up getting, you know, playing backup quarterback to Geno Smith on the freaking Jets, and he's likely to lose that. <laughs> well, you know, and all righteousness here, you know, with the Michael Vick thing, yes, what he did was intolerable. He did his time, and he has um, made leaps and bounds to try and change what he did. And I don't know. I mean, I don't know his head right here. And I can't say. Do, do I tolerate what he did? Not at all. Do I right. tolerate what he's done since and tried to make himself look better? If he's doing it to look better, then you know, whatever. You know, God will judge you for that. But he has done, and I mean, things for uh, against animal cruelty since he's gotten out and tried things. So I mean, his job issue. That that's. Neither here nor there, and that's a self thing that you, you know everybody has to look at. What I'm talking well, about with is, the Belichick is he going to be, or is he going to be shunned from the Hall of Fame? If he ever oh, has I mean, a chance to be to be eligible for the Football Hall of Fame, do you think he's ever going to be blacklisted from the Hall of Fame? No, uh, probably not. Thing. No, and no, I, I think don't think, think that's so. Wrong. I mean, what what he did, notwithstanding, I mean, it was of course, obviously. It, it's not no secret now how I feel about that. It was a horrible thing what he did. But my point being is when you look at the two in comparison, it's just, come on, you're going to punish the shit out of one guy for this, but yet this other guy and does punish that the next, right. and you're not going to do anything about it. Like, he's not even, you're not even going to give him a, a, a slap right. on a the slap wrist. A slap on the wrist, even. <laughs> you know, you take Belichick, who got caught last time with the videotape and scandal right there, and all mm-hmm. they did is they lost a draft pick. And he was fined five hundred thousand dollars, and the organization was fined two hundred fifty thousand. First of all, yeah, to find an organization uh, two hundred fifty thousand dollars is a quarter to me and you. And finding right. him five hundred thousand dollars, he makes seven million dollars a year. Five hundred well, grand yeah. is not a big deal. So maybe well, the MLB helps he gets Sanders, a family I don't know. <laughs> that, you know, uh, all right, all right. Um, his we family gotta, we doesn't have a built-in. Let's talk, anyway, about, let's, talk about, is, let's talk about our guest tonight. Jeez, damn. <laughs> um, no, 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 we're, yeah, just, we're just making a point right there. We're talking a little football like we do every time we open the phones. But anyway, but yeah, let's we're not, talk about we're not, ES, right here. we're not ESPN. But, I mean, but you guys, I, this is your crowning moment for the Will and Thunder show. I mean, I wasn't a part of this, so I'm proud of you guys because this tonight is your pinnacle, your zenith, everything that you guys got this band back together and they're playing their 30th anniversary show this weekend, all because of you guys. And, it's, right. you know, by golly, if you're not going to, to give yourselves props for that, then I'm going to do it for you. And, golly gee, let's just give them a round of applause. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know what? I just want to say one thing right here. You know, this, this is one of the greatest. nice words, but, you know, my, my, yeah, no, thank my you very, thank you very much, Chris. Of, I had to bring that down a little bit. <laughs> I just want to say right here, you know what? We we had a part in this right here, but this is one of the greatest bands or entertaining group that I, I've ever seen in my life, and I love these guys. I mean, uh, especially, you know, Deadly right here, looking at him like a brother right there, and he loves us. And the thing is, you know what? It, us being a part of this right here and getting this to where it is right now, is it, it's not – 
a crowning achievement. I don't want a medal. I don't, I don't want a crown. I, I don't want to sit on a high pedestal right here. What I want to do right now is just be grateful that maybe we were the match that set this fire and mm-hmm. to be but, grateful that they're back together. I mean, it's, Thunder, it's just an you awesome thing, so, man. Thunder, you look so cute in a tiara, you know, with your Mickey <laughs> axe and your face and your Jerry Lee Lewis bulletproof vest. Hey, I didn't put those pictures online. How'd they get there? How'd you see that? You put everything on Instagram, Thunder. God bless him. Will, I told you. Those are for you, man. I wanted that for the scrapbook. That was it. Oh, God. It's part of the, the Will and Thunder scrapbook that uh, that goes on sale. Our, our Will and Thunder scrapbook It's now for sale. <laughs> now, it is now for sale on our Facebook page. <laughs> for the for the low price of nine ninety nine. <laughs> the Tierra and Tutu, those were private pictures. <laughs> Side effects may include may include blindness. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's an understatement. Temporary <laughs> insanity. <laughs> is that an understatement or is that a understatement? Oh, and no refunds. <laughs> no oh, that refunds was lame. <laughs> Anyway, all right, but, uh, but seriously, man, you know, we are on the eve of one of the greatest shows that are going to be performed of all times right here. King Center in Melbourne, dead serious. It's going to Melbourne, be Florida. unbelievable. Melbourne, Florida, the Harbor City. I mean, I mean, this is this is real deal, man. These guys, man, are getting back together, and they're – I can't even – I've been watching the Facebook posts. And I cannot even imagine how amazing it's going to be. And unfortunately, because I tore my knee out, I'm not going to get to be there. You I've need been to tell this. me. Okay, when they get here, I need to find out why they aren't sending a limo to pick you up. I don't <laughs> know. Put them back together. I mean, come on. <laughs> like, this is not acceptable. I, I don't accept this. That would be a very I, expensive I, limo I, ride. <laughs> That, I, yeah, I am that is so true. upset. The funny thing yeah, is, you know, the thunder jet or something. <laughs> like, the thunder jet. Yeah, the thunder jet. That's yeah. That's what we'll be working I, on there. I mean, like, when our show finally uh, hits the big time. You know? <laughs> that's right. The thunder jet. The funny thing is, you know, it'll be a little jet. It'll look like a mini school bus with wings. <laughs> it'll be a Cessna. <laughs> I'm on the Thunder Jet. I'm on the Thunder Jet. <laughs> the Thunder well, you know, gonna, We're having fun. You know what fascinates me, though, is that so many metal musicians out there, there's a link between metal musicians who fly airplanes. It's just so fascinating to me that we've got to find out what the what the attraction is one of these days. But there's so many. We could get one of these guys to, like, charter the Thunder Jet. You know, that would be so metal, right? I mean, get one of these guys up there. It's got to be the guy who's, uh, what's, uh, I'm sorry, I'm a brain stop right here. Who seems like, can you take me high enough? Oh, no, He's no, got to no, be the no, pilot. No, can no, you fly no, me guy. over? <laughs> I'm just kidding. He'd be that taking be us to crazy town. And <laughs> I mean, hell, I live there anyway. Hold on. If like, what I, are we if doing I a want, circle for? But if I, if I, if I want to, um, if I want to, Somebody to fly me somewhere, I'll ask Bruce Dickinson. If I want a nice venison meal, I'll ask Ted Nugent. Yeah, but I mean, we haven't hit the big time yet. You know, we gotta we gotta start small. You know, you don't become the CEO right away. You gotta, have, you know, you gotta. Yeah, exactly. You gotta, exactly. Work your way up there. We right gotta get a couple of people first, uh, first before you like gig. Bruce. <laughs> Our first big gig will have some unknown band that has like a ultralight fly us in there. That'll be fucking fantastic. <laughs> but I have to ask you guys, I mean, this is weird because now I'm interviewing you guys, but I have to ask you guys, though, this whole thing with Dead Serious, I mean, did you ever imagine being, obviously because you guys are from Florida and they're a local act, and uh, well, everybody listening that's not from Florida is going to get to know them later on in the show, but right. for being what they mean to you guys as a local act and for you guys being fans as long as you have been, did it ever occur to you, at, did it ever cross your mind in your wildest dreams that somehow you would have a hand in bringing them back together? Or how does that make you feel as longtime fans of this band and knowing that somehow you played a part what, uh, in getting these guys to reunite after so many years? I'm freaking on um, uh, Exactly. I mean, you know what? It reaffirms what Will and I talked about two years ago when we decided to do the show. I mean, because what we wanted to do 
is, you know, get some bands that, uh, you know, nobody knew or bands that people knew and some signed bands and unsigned bands. And we wanted to do something in music that we loved and talk with musicians and, you know, stir the pot a little bit. You know what? This is the one this is our jumbo pot right here. This is the one that we stirred well, the, the most time, right here. And the first time that I saw Dead Serious in concert, I was like 16 years old. I'm 41 now. Yep. And um, and it's it's I, I've probably I've seen Dead Serious more than any other band on the planet. Um, oh, absolutely. Well, the, you know, I mean, with the exception of the bands we were in. I mean, we have, but then again, oh, we didn't I know. see ourselves. Well, you can't see your own band in <laughs> but, concert. I mean, right. that's. As the same I mean, goes, the one. No, I look at Will every time, time we play. <laughs> but I mean, I I'm going to bring this up in my The only thing that sucks uh, about being rush is that you don't get to see Russian concert, right? I mean, that's no, like, but, I mean, yeah. but the thing yeah. is, I mean, seriously, <laughs> and what Will's saying right there, yeah, I mean, we went and saw this band a hundred times. I mean, and loved every time we saw the band. And, you know, and the thing with Dead Serious is, you know what, they might play – Ten of the same songs they played the last time, or they might play a new song, but the show was always different. And they are so phenomenal when it comes to the artistry of the stage show and the music right there. That you know you saw something different every time. And yeah, I mean, but I'm gonna um in my in my monologue, uh, I'm I'm introducing the band on um, on Saturday at the 30th anniversary show, and I'm gonna put that you know something like that into my monologue. Into my monologue. Thank you. <laughs> But I'm gonna and I just want to like say, that. props to you, Will, and for representing the Will and Thunder show out there to the masses. And uh, you know, he's basically going out there alone and doing this, and and he's yep. gonna be out there, you know, kicking ass. And I just want to wish you all the luck in the world, man. I wish that I was there with you guys. Well, with you. Me too. Uh, I wish I was there. Period, I man. I mean, you Thunder. know. <laughs> I'd be like that scene in Lord of the, Lord of the Rings. I can't carry it, but I can carry you. And we'll climb the mountain up to the dead serious show. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no mountains in Florida. Uh, well, we're well, you know, you something. Know, you know, we got a couple hills, so you mean you climb that hill, man. Honeymoon hill. Yeah, Remember that when you're up there. in Florida, right? I mean, there's, there's a couple mountains in between, right? <laughs> hey, Will, 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 did you hear what I said? Yeah, I did. <laughs> but, yeah, um, I know. Anyway, look, man, this – and. I appreciate everything you're going to do, man. And I wish I could be there with you. Just, you know what, I want you to know right now that I'm going to be with you heart and soul right there. I get off work about 4 o'clock that day, and you're going to start doing your show. Do I mean, introduce the show? It'll be about, uh, about 6 minutes to 7 Eastern. So 6 minutes to 6 your time. Well, do me a favor. I want you to dial my number at 7 minutes to 7. I want you to leave it on so I can be there with you and hear you and be a part of the show right there. And I wish I could be there right there with you. Unfortunately, okay. with my uh, well, what I'll do, what I'll do is I'll, um, I'm not, I won't take it up on the stage with me because you might not be able to hear it. But I will, um, I'll leave it with put it by I'll the speaker. My, I'll leave it with my wife and I'll just be like, here. <laughs> you know, you know That's what awesome, would be man. cool. I don't know if your wife is technically savvy enough to do this, but well, I think what would be really cool is if there's a way that we could get oh, that gonna, on, on video and maybe yeah, upload it to film. our YouTube page. She's going to film it with um, with her cell phone, and um, we'll, go know, from we'll, there. we'll upload it that night. We'll, up, we'll upload it that night after the after this. Well, at some point. But... <laughs> um, I mean, this is a uploaded. huge moment for our show because... It's, it's, it actually and, is. I I mean obviously I'm not from Florida so I don't I I I understand the magnitude of what this means to you guys but I'm not in it so I don't have that. Okay, well, that all right. So being from California, you remember the band Green Jelly? Well, but but for for let me just finish my thought before I forget because Go ahead. um what I was going to say is I think that for me this is this is the ultimate proof that we're a magical show. This is the beginning yep. of the, of the trajectory of magic that the Will and Thunder show has has had, yep. and the, um, I do have more proof, further uh, proof of why we're a magical show, but we'll get to that in a few minutes. But <laughs> anyway, well, going I'm, on Thunder, as you were going to say, or Will, whichever. I was like, <laughs> you remember Green Jelly and how they got uh, a little big with their uh, Little Pigs Little Pig song? 
Oh yes, yes, I listened to they, that uh, they, many times. And I, I, I hate to say this, you know, cause, you know, I, you know, I love how you know the record companies do things, but uh, you no, know, they actually ripped off Dead Serious mm-hmm. and created Green Jello Jelly. Well, in their place. What, basically, what happened was there was this um, producer who was um, who was talking, you know, like interested in signing Dead Serious. This is back in the early nineties. Yeah. And um, for whatever reason, the deal fell through. But for how long had they, they been around at that point? At the point that this was all going to happen? Fifteen years. And no, uh, about ten years. Okay. About 10. Well, no, so about I, years, I just want to give our still. listeners outside of Florida kind of an idea of how yeah. long these guys have been around and what. So they, they've been around. I mean, they 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 were they were um, they were at their peak at that point. But grunge was literally just right around the corner. Right, but um, but they, um, but this producer was you know all interested in in them and everything, and he said, okay, we'll we'll get in touch with you, and then he flew back off to L.A. or wherever because he, I mean, he heard about the band. I mean, the band was making national news. I mean, they've they they were featured in Billboard magazine. They were um, they were featured you know in several others, Hit Parader, I believe, and um, mm-hmm. and they. You know, so they drew nas- they drew all sorts of national attention, but so they were coming uh, when, up. They were getting getting yeah. their attention, oh, getting attention in the right place. Yeah. Okay. But the uh, um, but then, but then, you know, they never heard from this guy again. And six months later, little pig, little pig, let me in. And the funny thing was, is um, you know, dead serious. The guys in dead serious were getting phone calls. Saying, um, saying, hey, congratulate! I heard you guys on the radio. I couldn't believe it. And they're like, what the hell? Three little pig. What the? What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> and, yep. Um, and you know, uh, and again, I, I, I totally but, understand but what you guys are saying because it was. Hold on, I'm not, the the story. The story's not over. When, um, oh. when the album came, when that Green Jello album came out, um, Deadly Serious got you know got a cop got his hands on a copy of it, and sure enough, the same producer. That they um, that they had spoke to uh, six months prior, well, it was probably a, a little bit longer than that, but still, was um, listed as the producer on that album. That doesn't surprise me at all. They they stole their gimmick. Oh, I I believe it. There's a, there's a couple of bands out there that um, I mean I've mentioned a few in the uh, the sem metal scene that this has happened to uh, offhandedly, but also. There's a couple of uh, bands from the Sunset Strip days that this happened to, and they have more famous counterparts that everyone knows and loves. But, you know, if you're from Los Angeles, you know that it's like, nope, these guys aren't the right. real deal. They're actually a take on some other band that was, you know, was burning it up on the Sunset Strip in the 80s, but for whatever reason, their singer wasn't good-looking enough, or they just right. they didn't have the right look for MTV, so they got passed over in favor of... This band that that now gets all the attention. Well, so, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 right there. You know, uh, which kills me is right there is a uh, dead serious had the material music wise dead. I mean, down dead to right. Everything mm-hmm. they did was great musically. I mean, and literally as a musically band, they are spot on. Lyrics were all comical, fun, have fun, listen to this. You know, it's not your normal look, you know, oh, yeah, here we go, we're setting a fire, or, you know, we're they listening, one, you know, watching they Satan did one or song, anything the, like that. The funny thing about it is they, they did, um, in their entire existence, they did two songs that I can think of right off the top of my head that are actually serious. One was um, Designated Driver. Which and, actually was still a funny, funny song, but it was yeah. had a serious message, you're right. And the other, um, well, dysfunctional family. Okay, so that's three. And it's still. Um, and what's the other one? And the other one was one of their really early classic songs that came out in the '80s. It was called "I Want to Force Feed William Cruz." Which William Cruz? And you know, I think but hold on. When everything was done. William Cruz. Everything was done in a comical manner. But my, yeah, I think. But, I think this story about Dead Serious, and maybe we can talk more about it with them when they get here. Oh, but I absolutely. Think this is a shining example of of the corruption within the music industry, and people out there listening who kind of don't really know how the business works or don't really understand a lot of things that go on behind the scenes. It, this 
stuff like this happens more often than you would ever even realize. Oh, that, oh absolutely. You know, it's, well, it's, unfortunately, I wish I could say, you know, the, well, not in their case, but I wish that a story like this was something rare that, like, you know what, just one of those flukes that, that happen every now and then, but it, it really isn't. It's just... Right. It, it's the, and unfortunately, and I think the point I was trying to make here is that you could be the the best fan in the world and have the most talent, and in the end, with the, in the business, it really is about who you know. You could have well, everything <laughs> going for you, and their, their bass player, their bass their bass player, Joe Del Corvo, he he is, and I, I've um, nicknamed him this a long time ago, um, a poor man, Steve Harris. Nice. I mean, the guy. The guy's got machine gun fingers. He's an incredible bass player. And um, but that's, and the, yeah, that's the, exactly it, though. I mean, you could be talented, but we all know. So, I mean, look at the shit that's on the radio these days. You don't have to be talented to right. be popular. And their and their guitar players. Calling. Their guitar players. They always had great guitar players. I mean, back in back in the day, their guitar player was um, was Doug Gibson, um, and he was. I mean, he was up there in the conversation with um you know with your people you know skid row and stuff like that i mean he was a mm-hmm. legitimate axe slinger um the guy they have now steve pooley he's actually one of their you know earlier guitar players and he's back with the band but um but i mean you know and he's he's <coughs> you know he's, he's equal to to you know to doug gibson but um he had, and the the drummers that they've had over the years, I mean, they're they're all really solid, really you know, really good drummers that would you know. Well, that, yeah, I mean, that's I think that's the point I, I'm trying to make here is that obviously, uh, and I think that's a lot of the misnomer that people have, especially um, at least in my line of work about bands that I know that are, that are talented that come from Europe. A lot of the argument that people have automatically is if they oh if they were that good, I would have heard of them. And and I right. think that that's what people don't realize is that there is so much talent out there that you've never heard of, and it's not because they don't play as well as a popular band or that they don't have any musical credibility or talent. It's just really, in the end, the music business is really like a lottery. It's just, I mean, there are bands out right. there, you wonder how the fuck they ever got a record deal, and yet somehow they do, and then there's other bands where it's just, they have all the components to be superstars and somehow just never make it out of where you know their their local area or a small following and it's just it really is it's it's kind of just one of these things where it's hit or miss it could be exactly you know you could be the well, best um, band in the world and t- tonight though by by request of deadly serious the singer um we're going to be playing some of their classic vintage stuff, stuff that came out in the nice. you know in the eighties. Old got, school stuff. Got, yeah, oh, I can't real, wait to hear it. Old school. We've got um, we've got four songs, so I'm going to go ahead and play one of them now. And um, oh yeah, we got to talk to then, Scary Justin before they, they get here. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yes, and we're, we we're not going to we're, we're not going to do news tonight because I mean I, I I think Thunder and I are both like really pumped to talk to these guys. We tonight we're going to have. Um, it's well, I am players. too. I mean, I I don't. I mean, obviously, you guys are probably going to have more to say to him than I will. But I'm very interested in listening Let me to the story. You I'll like probably it. be listening more than I'll be talking to them. But well, these well these songs. I mean, they're you know they're like I said they're raw. They're I mean they're studio recorded, but they're you know they're raw. I mean you'll you've you've heard us play some of their songs before, Chris, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. They, well, they came uh, over. Yeah, they came well, on the, the show when um uh. Not to not only on the Halloween special, but didn't they stop by to premiere yes. one of their singles um, when we had? Oh yeah, the um, not, uh, Buster's, Buster's got, got a booger. booger, which yeah. I'm shocked to hear was not one of their serious songs. I was really <laughs> like, I, I thought for you, sure you, this was one. You of don't their, even know. Just wait. Just wait. Like, Bob Dylan protest song. Cruising, cruising. <laughs> but let's wait. go ahead. Let's go ahead and play. What are we playing um, first? We're gonna play. Let's see. Oh wow, there's a six-minute song. Wow, they they, they, they sent me a scary six, for Justin. I didn't even Boop. know that they had a, any six-minute songs. <laughs> but, um, Go ahead, play us a song right here. Play us a good one. Yeah. How about uh, well, Harbor City? 
Harbor City. That'll be fine. I don't know any of these songs, so it sounds good to me. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I City. <clears throat> um, yeah, that that's raw. That's vintage stuff right there. <laughs> yeah, that was but, uh, That was really good. Yeah, well, the one thing I saw, you know, one thing on Facebook, you know, watching these guys, they, they, they're they remastering all this stuff right here. And they're, I believe they're going to put a, you know, a best of kind of thing together right here or you reissue everything that they're doing right here. It's awesome. Yeah. I've seen so many pictures, old school pictures and, you know, and getting these old songs back out. It is, you know, it's a staple, you know, in that area right here, especially, you know, the Harbor City. And by the way, if you want to, if you want to find them um, on Facebook, um, there just just type in "Dead Serious" and you'll be able to find them. Well, serious without the U. Just type in the word "serious." S e r i o s. S e r i o s. Right. It's serious. It's not dead serious. It's dead serious. There's a funny story behind that. Of why the name is spelled that way. 
Well, well let's, so, uh, save, let's save a couple of these stories for when they get here. So we have that's right. not that we'll run out of things okay. to talk about, but <laughs> but uh, before like, anyway, we, like the we were. In, I, yeah. I just had let's, like two quick announcements, real real quick, because I know we're going to be real busy talking to the the guys and to Justin, um, because we were talking about what a magical show we are. I have two uh, two more bits of evidence that prove we are a magical show, which is uh, within this last week I got a message from our friend Veronica from Benedictum, and great news, she has reached her Kickstarter goal uh, for her new first solo album. You're welcome. Yes. Not, not only did she reach her goal, but she messaged me and said specifically that she wants to thank us for all of our help. Uh, that I think she said some, I think her exact words were, I couldn't have done it without you. So that is one uh, bit of evidence that we are a magical show. And uh, once again, we helped uh, Veronica reach her goal, and we can't wait to hear that awesome solo album. But also, um, recent in the last week, also I believe it was the Metalholic website just recently um, listed their their top. I believe it was top twenty five female vocalists of two thousand fourteen. And three, count them, three of our past guests made the list. And uh, they were the ladies Hold from... Hold drum, uh, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll, drum roll. Oh, they yes, are? yes, yes. Where is the drum roll? Another one? And one more. All right, go ahead. Drum roll. Because it's three, it's three ladies, uh, the three women who got on the list. <laughs> the three ladies who got on the list were uh, Jessica from Mongrel, which are, which was a past guest or a band that we have featured on the show, and then the other two, uh, one of the other one was Nina from A Sound of Thunder, and the the other one was our guest just last week, Sarah from Mind Maze. So congratulations to the three of you ladies. <laughs> Now, man, man, just just a little thing out here. Thank everybody who's been on our show, and you know what? Uh, I'm glad that you guys have gotten your accolades, and I, you know, hope and you know know that it was a part of our uh, process of being on the show. For those who have, once in a while, only, there's only been a few who has uh, kind of uh, set us aside and uh, missed the shows who uh, couldn't be here for some reasons or just kind of left us out to dry. In the words of Gandalf, I want to say, you shall not pass. You said it, Thunder. (laughs) And you know what? For all those people out there, those bands that rejected us and thought that they were too good for the Will and Thunder show, screw you. We are magical. We're too good for you, fuckers. Yes, exactly. Uh, And you know what? The magic works both ways. it works both ways. If you don't come on our show, bad magic happens to you. Well, there's only been <laughs> there's only been three bands in in um in like a year and a couple months. There's only been three bands to stiff us. So I think we're doing pretty good. Well, I think we're doing pretty good. And you know what? The thing is, you know what? The thing is, they don't mean they don't realize how much fun they've missed right there. I don't care who yeah. you are or who you think you are. If you come on a Will and Thunder show, you're going to have some fun right here. We're going to talk and we're just going to shoot the shit and have some fun. This isn't, speaking, you know, the Daily Show. Fun, this isn't. Speaking, speaking of fun, it's time to play five words. That's my favorite part of the new program. I love this. <laughs> yes, our brand new segment, Five Words, uh, which is five. our listeners uh, who didn't tune in last week for whatever reason because they were uh, shot by Jerry Lee Lewis or abducted by aliens. <laughs> what is the five word segment? Well, tell us a little about that. Five word segment. Um, we we pick we pick five words you know five words that will well last week it was five words to to ruin a date this week it's going to be five words that'll ruin a job interview and and you, you just come up with the five words and I've come up with a few but you know thunders come up that's with right. a few and so what we're gonna do is week to week we're gonna pick a topic our buddy, hold on hold on hold on, buddy, hold on hold on hold on hold on our buddy scary I Justin know. is also here Break it and up. he's got a, <laughs> yeah he's got a few too so if he wants to. Go ahead and um, join the queue, and we'll we'll bring him in as well. 
and then we'll and then we'll do scary Justin's horror movie trivia here, you know, pretty soon. We're, we'll get Justin. To, we'll, we'll do the we'll Hello. do the five words. We'll do the five words here just real quick, and then and then we'll get to the movie trivia, and then we'll bring Dead Serious on. So, now, now um, I had a quick question. Is it five words that you don't want to hear at, at the job interview, being the interviewer or, five, or the interviewee? The interviewee. Either. Either. Is that, oh, okay. Cool, I, cool. I, went for, I went interviewee, so is that, it was my idea. And welcome in, Justin. How are you doing tonight, brother? Hey, I'm doing good. How are you guys doing tonight? Here We're doing great tonight, by the up? way. Love the new website. I love the Facebook posts. Uh, did you get my post today about the easy questions? Uh, yeah, I got a, yeah, okay. I got a couple right. written down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by the way, I was, I was trying way, to fix the game, it, but. What's the um? What's the what's the web or what's the Facebook page for Scary Justin's horror movie trivia? Oh, uh, it's a official Scary Justin or Scary Justin movies or no Scary Scary Justin's trivia and they have like official like, in parentheses. <laughs> Justin gets a cha-ching now too. See, this is not fair, dude. I've been on this show for two years and I haven't even got a cha-ching yet. Well, uh, you can find me at Kevin Thunder at Facebook dot com, or uh, you can find me at Kevin Thunder on Twitter. You have All right, to I feel better the now. Website. <laughs> I got to change. You can give you a change okay. every time we talk about Jerry Lee Lewis. <laughs> that should give me a change right there because I'm still alive. <laughs> Much shit I talked about him as many bass players he shot should be. I, I should just get a ching ching for every day I breathe. <laughs> All right. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I throw I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw um, five words. Um, I'm gonna throw a couple of them out real quick. Five words to ruin a job interview. Um, here, here's one. What? This isn't a costume. <laughs> <laughs> Um, that explosion was an accident. That... <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> I just came it's up really with it right good. now. <laughs> um, another one, another one that I, another one that I came up with was, I love Will and Thunder. <laughs> that would get you the job. Yeah, I was gonna say if, if I was hiring somebody, I'd be like, oh, you are hired. You come I've, work I've for me now. Few, I've got a few more. Uh, um, Thunder. Give us some of yours. All right. Pants, casual Friday, right? <laughs> Pants optional. <laughs> Your secretary is so hot. <laughs> okay, that kind All right, you ready for the best one? one? You ready for the best one ever? You ready for the best Go one ever? Go for it. Sure. <laughs> Do you provide Obamacare? <laughs> that one's for you, Will. <laughs> Thank you. I, I had, um, I had, a, I had one along the same lines that said, um, "I want fifteen dollars an hour." Probation <laughs> is that a problem? <laughs> I only steal from friends. <laughs> Chris, give us a couple of yours. Uh, God, you know, I just thought of that one. You know, let's let's hear a couple from Justin. And I'll try to think of a couple while I'm. All right, I, I've got a bunch I, more. I texted you about that like three hours ago. I know, I know, but I've been, <laughs> I've been. Busy. I'm almost out of rehab. <laughs> I want to hear some of the scary Justins. My parole uh, is next week. There's another one. <laughs> I have a couple. Uh, the one I was texting earlier, um, I just shit my pants. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, do I make you horny? Ah, come on, man. You can't eat. Mm, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just, okay, I slept with the boss. Right? Go ahead. Uh, the, uh, you have a small office. <laughs> Can, are you ready? You're here. I got, I got a couple more. You ready? Can are you, you wearing a wig? Stu- <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear your stupidity? Wow. 
Hey, you know what? That's what we all want to say when we're having a job. <laughs> you ready? You're, I got that on for you. Got any scotch? Bourbon's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I I got a couple. I got a couple more uh, zingers. Um, what's your definition of stalking? <laughs> um, where, where are your security cameras? <laughs> um, what's wrong with innocent touching? <laughs> hey, that's not sexual harassment. <laughs> <laughs> that's five words. Um, I sued my last boss. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna, yeah, well, Steph's okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw out one more, and then um, Go ahead. We'll, we'll we'll wrap that. You know, I mean, if you guys have a couple, I got a couple more, more too. Fine. But anyway, go ahead. Yeah, and you, you we'll put do, a couple um, more off there. A couple more. Okay, and then my last my last big one is you know, I'm a big Jets fan. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> that that's one for every week, right? <laughs> sure, why not? That's it. <laughs> well, in that case, uh, then. I, let me okay. Let me make sure it's uh yeah. I'm a Green Bay fan, or I am a Green Bay fan. That would be bad five words, right there for me. But <laughs> I'm a big Packers fan. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big Packers fan. <laughs> I love those Packers. Damn it, or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> I like to steal everything. <laughs> <laughs> um, make me cut you. <laughs> Thunder, you got a couple more before we go to um. Skate. Yeah. Wait, wait, I've got I've got five more words. I don't know why I didn't think of this sooner. Me fail English? That's impossible. <laughs> yeah, that's well, that. steps okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do what? Ten out of twelve steps okay. <laughs> that's perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> She was your um, wife, really? <laughs> Scary Justin, you got any more? Uh, let's see. Uh, I am a sex addict. <laughs> Who isn't? <laughs> I don't like to work. When is my break time? <laughs> Do I get paid now? <laughs> exactly. Oh, hold on. And, hey. and I, I got one more that I... That I when do I, I start, Jackass? <laughs> I was going to save it for the last one and I uh, the last one that I was going to do but it was at the top of the page because it was like one of the last ones that I did on on Twitter but um well, I got one more those drugs aren't mine really <laughs> <laughs> but um but this one this one's brilliant this one's brilliant um and if I can just nobody understands my work ethic <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. Now, we ready to do some trivia? Hell yeah. Well, Is there really a background check? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't really mean that, right? <laughs> hey, Scary Justin, I've added something to your little intro, so listen. Hello. I'd like to play a game. <laughs> All right, welcome, Scary Justin. What do you got for us this week? Yeah, well, I love the intro. That was pretty cool. Thank you. That was pretty awesome. I want to play. Again. I just, yeah, I just that 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 that's perfect. I mean, it doesn't get more perfect than that. <laughs> that was cool. <clears throat> Yeah, I got Good a couple job on that, Will. Oh, and by the way, the way that we do this, if you know the if you think you know the answer, you just say your name. 
Um, so I know, so I know. Have, Look, I'm trying to learn yeah. this. I did last week. I <clears throat> looked it all up and just yeah. screamed the answer out. I right got now, this this time. Right now, Justin leads the the, the Will and Thunder show two to nothing. Uh, only the week before I had two. I had two the week before. No, no, no. He he won. <clears throat> he won the show. He won the show. Yeah, every it went week up the week before. Final... It doesn't matter. No, he yeah. leads two. two All right, to so we're keeping, we're keeping tally, a, though. Keeping a, yeah, we're keeping a running score. So it doesn't matter. If one of us has to. What about the first to... week then? I have no, I have no wins right now because of the first week I had two. Yeah, but he stumped us more. Okay. Yeah. That's how it works. Yeah, okay, he, so he won two. We have not, okay. Show, the, I understand now. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. In order for us to win, it's, in order for us to win, the Will and Thunder show has to get more right. No matter if you get it or I get it, we get a point. That's the Will and Thunder show. I'm learning. <laughs> Look, I dress myself. Yeah, the, 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 the rules. The rules can change. The, the rules will change I got you. until we get right. <laughs> All right, so no, no. So the way it works right now, if he stumps us, he gets the points. But if we win, we get the points, no matter who answers. Right, and, and we'll keep it. Okay, good. Done. Basis. We'll keep it on a week to week basis for you know for us, so that um, so that we, you know, just just for bragging rights. But I got you. I got you. Really I mean, so it's not. The, it's, what, what really matters is of the which we have the show right versus now. Gary Justin. <laughs> okay. All right, we 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 gotta whoop his ass. All right. See, that's not fair, because that's somebody's going to pull shit out and be like, in 1915, there was a horror movie that he looked right, up and we're be like, I ain't got a fucking clue. Uh, <laughs> let me call my dead it. grandfather, and he might tell me. <laughs> you need to use the Ouija board to figure that out, Thunder. Come on. Come on, okay, Mildred. Let's, let's, let's use the Ouija board. Hey, no Googling. No Googling. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Ouija board, though, is totally acceptable. Yeah. Okay, as long as, long as I can use the dead spirits to help me, that's cool. We don't have a lot of time right now. So I know. Let's you know, do this. Let's go ahead. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's go. Ahead. I'm ready. You guys ready? Yep. We're ready. Okay. Uh, besides Child's Play, name a killer doll or any toy movie. Chucky. Uh, Chris. Kevin. Uh, Will. Will. Uh, Chris, go ahead. I was – well, I – you already said Chucky, so um, that's all right. I didn't. Shit. I didn't chime in the right way. That's my fault. You go ahead. Uh, Check it. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, Chucky is one of them, but I had another that was on my mind, and now my my mind has drawn another blank. No, but, <clears throat> and the then I realized was, it was the not movie. a, a the movie. The question was name the movie. Oh well, Child's Play. Okay. Bing. Yeah. Do we have, hey, I we have a winner. Good job, <laughs> Chris. I we love you. Right. All right, go uh, ahead. See. Okay. Uh, this 1985 Italian gore fest uh, is about strangers getting a movie pass on a. Uh, what the hell does that say? Oh, they they get a movie pass of an entitled movie, and that leads to bloodthirsty results. It's an, it's an Italian movie? movie? Yes, but it's in English, though. It's dubbed in English. Super Mario Brothers? Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Damn it's turtles. I mean, I nah. know that that movie was a horror movie, but it didn't mean to be a horror movie. <laughs> Kazam. <Poor turtle. laughs> um. yeah, it has one word. The title's one word. Jaws. I have Spaghetti. No idea. <laughs> is it one of the movies right? that we answered last week? <laughs> no. Um, okay, Adam, like, why do I have a feeling that I, I answered? We answered this already. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, pass because we don't we don't know that one. You you get a point. It's, it's scary. Justin won. Will and Thunder show won. Yay! What's the name of it? Uh, Demons. Oh, okay. Okay. Somebody should have guessed that, you sons of bitches. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Thunder. I scored you a point. I know. All right, go ahead. There. Time for another one, or should we do? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, we got Okay, it. We got a um, about two more. All right, in this classic from 1959, you have to spend the night and stay alive to get the prize money. Will. It got remade in 1999. Will. 
House on Haunted Go for it, Hill. Will. Uh, what was the Hill. answer? Yes, correct. All right, we're in the lead right now. <laughs> what What is the name of the movie? I missed that. House on House Haunted, Haunted Hill. Hill. Oh, yeah, well, my phone was like, what is that? <laughs> yeah, I did the same thing. So, anyway, all right. So, now we're up oh. two and one. Yeah, hey, I made a two. All right. <laughs> now, now we're up two to one, and we had three questions. So, we win tonight? Or are we going to keep going on here? No, if if um, if um Scary Justin ties it up, then there's one more tiebreaker. And then okay, we... let's go ahead. One last question. Oh, okay. Or maybe two. All right. Before I still know what you did last summer, this nineteen eight and this nineteen eighty slasher is about a tragic event that leads to childhood friends to uh, keep a secret that turns deadly on a special school event. Um, What's the year you said? Nineteen eighty. That's way too early for what I was thinking. I Damn. feel like I've seen every horror movie from the 80s, and then when I play this trivia, I realize that either I've forgotten them all, or I really haven't seen that many horror movies. <laughs> I, I think the same thing, man. <laughs> uh, oh, well, I'm stumped. Yeah, you and me both. <laughs> Does it take place out of school, or... Is, is yeah, it, wait, wait. You know what? Okay, I'm gonna get. Is it is, is it based on a book? No. Okay, then I, the, there goes my guess. Okay. Uh, anybody? I'm. Um, I know what you did I'm, last uh, summer, 1980. Yeah, it's before. No, no, I said started. it's. Yeah, it's before that. Yeah. I know that. I'll just. <laughs> 1980. <laughs> I know. I know what you did last um, Christmas. Me. I know. <laughs> Which one was it? I know no idea. Um, that was, that was I know what you did last Hollywood. Christmas. <laughs> what is it? Uh, prom night. Oh, God. my God. I can't believe uh, I didn't get that. I've seen that movie. The cow is going to get you. We've all seen that movie. All right. One last question. Who wins and who loses here? Well, our guest, our guest right, has Justin. not arrived yet. Our guest has not arrived yet, but, um, but they... <clears throat> but so let's go ahead and do the tiebreaker. Oh, tiebreaker, right then we'll play a song. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Oh, that sounds good. Sorry, All you right, what's your tiebreaker? All right. Uh, in the TV series Dynasty in season two, feature two male stars from two big horror fr- movie franchises. Name the two franchises. Um. And from Dynasty? Yeah, there were two male stars that uh, they weren't big. St- uh, they weren't the leads, but they were featured in uh, the scary movies. Two okay. male franchises. Chris is gonna guess. I'm gonna guess. I said my name, Chris. I'm gonna guess that uh, uh, is Nightmare on Elm Street one of them? Yes. <gasps> oh my God. I got half a point. Um, okay, and the other one is it? Uh, I'm. Obviously, I'm teetering between one or the other, but it, I'm going to go yes. with... one of the two. Is, is the other one Friday the 13th? Uh, Friday the 13th? No. It was Halloween. God. Right? Okay, Will. Bitch. Will. I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to go... Nightmare on Elm Street. Halloween. Mm, let's see what I have right there. Oh, no. Okay, and I get one more. Um, you, should, you should know Puppet it already. Master. Puppet Master. Oh, uh, no. Kevin. Kevin Thunder. Candyman. Nightmare on Elm Street and uh, Friday the 13th. No, I guess. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That was my what? guess, and I got it wrong. <laughs> Shit, yeah. it's one of the three right there. You just blew it. You totally blew it, man. <laughs> so did you, you cupcake, bitch. There's like, well, I blew it, but I didn't guess something that already been guessed. <laughs> All right. But, well, oh, my God. Hellraiser, I don't know. Oh, stop it. Wait, Hellraiser, <laughs> is that your guess? Is that what you're going to go with? Cause, is that I'm going to go Nightmare on Elm Street and Hellraiser. No, I got Nightmare on Elm Street's correct. Well, yeah, we know we that. We got half a point. 
Yeah. All right. All right. Um, what is? Well, okay, that, the wait. last one. Do you want the answer for that one? Yeah, please. Yeah, we, we've all answered and we're wrong. So. Yeah, I was like, Jason goes to hell. Uh, the final Friday. She said Friday the thirteenth. Yeah, I did. I guess Friday the thirteenth. You said Oh, you did. I didn't hear that one. So that yeah, yeah, I was, won. Yeah, that ah. Will and Thunder show wins. So we win. This week. Oh, yes, we do. <laughs> you win this week. I'll tell you it's all about next week. So Justin, since we won, are you scared? Mm, angry. We're getting better at this. <laughs> <laughs> And not only I mean, did I finally it. get on the board, but I actually won for the show. <laughs> Don't yeah. let it go to your head, all right? You got a both. No, friends. no, no. <laughs> all right, I'm well, just happy right. to be our on guests, the team. <laughs> our guests are beginning to arrive. We're gonna play. Um, we're gonna play a, uh, uh, another song right quick. This is called. Uh, this one is called. Who's your buddy now? And that's the title track to one of their early albums. Uh, this is Dead Serious, and we'll be right back on the Will and Thunder Show. Thank you, Justin. No Thanks, problem. Justin, man. We'll talk to you later, buddy. See you next Bye. week, buddy. Mm. All right. That of course was the legendary Dead Serious from from Melbourne, Florida, and um, we've 
<clears throat> we've got that, that sounded like Joe Del Corvo. Is that, is that who we got here? Yeah, that's me. What's up, man? What's What's going on, my friend? Oh, we're just at rehearsal right now. <laughs> Welcome into the show, man. Thanks, guys, for taking a little time out of your uh, preparations for the show, man. Saturday night's going to be unbelievable, and this I am be really so, fun. I am so upset that I'm not going to be able to be there, man. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to the that. show. Pleasure to meet you guys. How you doing? Good. Uh, congratulations. That is Chris. That is that is, that is our uh, female entity on the show right there. That's Chris, the lady in black, man, and uh. She's fucking rocks out. She's so cool, man. But, uh, yeah, Joe, man, uh, can't wait to see what's going on with you guys, man. You guys pumped up for this show t- uh, Saturday night? Uh, yeah, this is going to be stupid. Dude, we just had a violinist coming here. And I'm, I'm not, I won't oh. give up anything, but she's bringing a different dimension to what we did. And this sounds, like, really, really good. Like, I, I was, like... I've never played with a violinist in my life. I was just like listening to her. I was like, wow, this sounds incredible. You guys got to hear this. Oh, I'm looking forward to it. I'm uh, really sad today. <laughs> that was it. <clears throat> it you know, of course, you know, um, you know, we have a different guitar player right now. Absolutely. Right. Un- un- unfortunately, uh, circumstance had it that uh, Doug Gibson won't play the show, but we got this guy, Steve Foley. He's freaking incredible. He's, he's he's like he's gelling really well. Two weeks, two weeks he's done this with us. It's great. Well, he was. Um, hey, you guys just gonna blow it out, band. man. He was one of the band's yep. um, early guitar players too. So I mean, yeah, was... like we were just playing "Who's Your Buddy." I think he might have played on that. I was thinking that too. I mean, it was. Um... <clears throat> But it's, I mean, I've, I've met I've met Steve. I don't know if he'll remember me or not. But I mean, um, but that was, um, yeah. He's he's a phenomenal guitar player. When Chris told me that, um, when Dead Lee told me that it was that he was, um, you know, taking over and everything, I was, I was like, okay, we you guys are in good hands. <laughs> yeah, this guy this guy's incredible. Actually, we had Stu Coleman come in last night. And he played on the first album too, and he's going to play a, a song with us on Saturday. So Very cool. it sounds really, really good. And you guys got you guys got the lineup kicking, man. You got a lot of uh, guest uh, musicians coming in, and uh, as you said, you got a violinist coming in there. It's going to you know put a t- totally new dimension in there, right there. You guys are phenomenal as it is, and you know. I, I I hope. Are you guys going to record this and uh, put this on DVD or put it on a CD or anything like that? Yep, that's definitely official. We are. Um, we actually got a camera crew coming in. It's like three cameras, and we are actually going to do this whole thing. We'll have backstage stuff. We're we're doing this whole thing. Yeah. Now, is it is it too much to ask? Uh, would it be revealing too much to ask how or why um, the idea of the violinist came into play or? Or is is that would you be revealing too much of a surprise? Well, yeah, I don't want to give too much of it, but um, she is incredible. I will actually tell you that uh, she was on tour for a while with uh, Jimmy Page and Robert Plant. Oh um, wow! Yes, years 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 back, and she just came in here and she just whacked us out, and I'm like, I I I was like, I'm unbelievably amazed how this sounds right now. Because we have this guitar player, Steve Bully, and he's coming here in like two weeks and done incredible things right now. Well, the good I mean, news, Thunder, I'm, I mean, I know you had to miss the show, but at least yeah, now you uh, you'll get Thunder. to watch the DVDs. <laughs> exactly. I'll be the first one to buy one, I guarantee you that. I mean, I should be there on the stage and, you know, the forefront right there when uh, Will gets to introduce a band right there. And, you, you know, I love you guys, man. I was, uh, I've was i seen you guys a hundred times. And, man, love you guys to death and wish I could be there, man. Unfortunately, with the uh, injury I had, I'm kind of stuck at home right now. But I oh, cannot sorry. wait. Oh, yeah, it, it is. Blew my knee out. Oh, Two weeks ago, and now I now I can't leave the you know all that kind of stuff. But I you know I cannot wait to see this uh, DVD or you know you know 
video that you guys are going to have going on here. And I, you know, I keep watching you guys on Facebook and see, you know. Hey there. I'm uh, here. He, yeah, he's gone. Oh, no. He was talking. I was gone. The aliens got him. <laughs> this always happens to him. <laughs> but, um, he needs Chris, to get another we, phone or something. <laughs> Chris, will you do me a favor when he comes back in? Will you, um, will you bring him in? I'm outside smoking a cigarette. Well, it still shows that he's on there. It doesn't say call dropped or anything. Oh, okay. Yeah, it shows well, that he's still logged in, so... That's, you guys talking about me? Yeah, yeah where the hell where, did you go? <laughs> where'd you go? I was right there. I was talking the whole time, and everything was working fine. I, all of a sudden, you guys got a little uh, static right there, and that was... Oh, yeah, well, we we didn't hear any static on our end. Oh, uh, then that was my end right there, and I apologize. You must have been uh, traveling so through time again. <laughs> uh, Joe, well, um, you know, I was looking for... How uh, many, Joe, Joe, how many, how many guests, um, you know, guest performers are you... In, like in total, are you having for the show? I think we have like five or six. Um, like I said, I don't want to give too much away, but right, I'm, uh, I'm not asking you to. I was just asking for a number. That's all. <laughs> yeah, five or six. We'll go with that. <laughs> nice. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I ask these questions simply because I mean I'm not from Florida, and I know that we have listeners that aren't from Florida and may not necessarily know your music that well. So I'm trying to get a to kind of get a feel of, of what you guys have got going on for our listeners out there who are just hearing about you guys for the first time and uh, might be might be interested in learning more about your music or what they might have to look forward to if they purchase this DVD or, or stuff like that or what kind of things that, that is typical of your live shows or in, in this case of this performance that you're doing, maybe not so typical, et cetera. You will constantly smile. It's, it's uh, entertaining. It's an entertaining show. It's high volume. It's you know, we come from the school of Aerosmith and Kiss, and uh, we enjoy playing live. We are a live band. This is a live band, and uh, the the the, uh, the stage show is kind of like on the other side. I always told people is like you, you put Metallica and Andrew Dice Clay. You you got a uh, dead serious show, and that, that's sounds what like it fun. Is. <clears throat> nice. Oh, you have no idea. And the one thing I was going to say when she said, when it comes to your stage show, tell me what typical about it. There is nothing typical about a dead serious stage show. No, nothing. anything goes. Any, any anything and everything goes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it, it's I amazing. Say, you know, I I did rehearsal last night with these guys yeah. and. uh I was sore, you know, it was like words of like going to this and this is like, this is like a cool show here at the King Center. Nobody knows about the King Center in Melbourne. This is where the, you know, the Beach Boys play the there bigger all the time. band. Yeah, the bigger acts play. Wait, Bill that, Cosby uh, just played there three weeks ago. Oh, Who's that? The guy that's the guy that shunned from the world of, you know, the one of the biggest guys that shunned from the world right now played there three weeks ago. Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby, yes, yes. And yeah, so, I mean, and this is a huge venue right there. I mean, honestly, there's been so many big bands that have come in through there. I mean, you guys have, I mean, to play at the King Center right now is huge. Especially, you, I mean, you guys took a hiatus for a while. And for you guys to come yeah. back and to play a show that big, that quick, it's amazing. Yeah. What we got here is this band playing at this place and nobody that's local does this. You know, this is a celebration no. about this band and I, I, Bill, I told you this geez, what we talked about a long time ago, right? Mm-hmm. It's like, this is what this is a, a celebration of this band and for uh, Mr. Dead Lee and this is something better than I I would ever imagine right now. This is the best we've ever sounded. I, I don't joke about that. This is really, this is really, really good. It's going to be a really cool thing for people to come out and see this. this, you, this you know, there's a intense. lot of bands out there right now. I mean, I mean, you can look at bands right now like Metallica, Aerosmith, everything. Like, oh, we've been doing this 30 years. We've been doing this 40 years. We've been doing this 50 years. You guys are a part of that right now. 
I mean, this is your 30 years, and you guys are putting on this huge show in the area where you yep. guys got started at. And you guys went so far beyond, you know, the Harbor City and through Melbourne. And you guys were in Cocoa Beach, and you went through Orlando. And, I mean, you, you guys are on the verge of getting signed right now, but you're coming back home right now for your 30-year anniversary. And you know how big it is right there for 30 years to spread joy to so many people. And the great thing is, you know, after, you know, it's what, been a 10-year hiatus? And people still are like, I mean, you don't know about this band dead serious. You guys have no idea. They're telling kids that are playing in the band, in the little bars right now. Yeah. You guys, you know what? You, you want to put on a show? You should have seen Dead Serious. Yep. They put on a show. And to be, be a part be, of that, man, is amazing. I'm going to be 46 this year. that's actually kind of cool, though. I mean, that's kind of cool that you guys have been Absolutely. around that long, but yet you're still – underground enough to where you're still new to a lot of people. So it's not like yeah. a lot of these bands out there where it's just, oh, God, those guys have been around 30 years. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, I, you, wouldn't you don't even know. I wouldn't be surprised if on Saturday, you know, we see like a bunch of, you know, teenagers and stuff there that have never seen Dead Serious before. And, you know, and, but that, you know that that's something that's common, like wherever you go, whenever Iron Maiden puts on a show, or wherever Striper yeah. puts on a show, or whatever. There's um, there's all these kids there that are seeing them for the first time, you know, not because their parents dragged them there, but because they listened to it and they're like, oh my god, this is amazing. I, but you know, though, so in 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 respect, though, it is their parents because a lot of parents out there like that are our age, give or take a few more years. They are raising their kids on this music, and the kids actually grow up. I'm, like one of our past guests, Gabby Ray, you know, grew up listening yeah. to this music and finds that, hey, I actually like this and think it's good music, and this is what I listen to. And, yeah, well, like my kids right there. It's uh, ironic my, way, you know. Right, <laughs> you know good, yeah. I've got two kids. i got two kids right there in the age of 11 and 13 right now, and they listen to all different kinds of music, and they like the kind of – not hip hop, but uh, R and B sometimes, or they listen to country. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll throw yeah. in there like, oh, let me show you something, and I'll find on YouTube, Mr. Potato Head, and they're like, oh, that's so fucking cool right there. And I'm like, yeah, see, that's what Daddy listened to right there. And now my son who's 11 years old wants a guitar for listening to what I've done on this show right here and talking to musicians right here. And I'm like, that's so. I mean, that's what I want to do right here is I want to pass it on right there. You know, yeah, well, and, I, Joe, and Joe, and to be honest yeah. with you, when I was, uh, you know, you you might be a year or two older than I mean, or so, but listening to you and Carrie Starr is what yeah. made me want to play bass guitar. Yeah. You are like Steve Harris in my eyes <laughs> on the local music I, I, scene. You're you fucking ridiculous. Pretty, you, you are ridiculous. Let the man speed talk, and fast. Let the man I'm talk. sorry, hold on. <laughs> For the first time now, I I start feeling like I'm Steve Harris again because my um, chops are like really good now. Because I I put my bass up, I don't play it, you know. But now it's like, wow, this this I'm telling you, man, this sounds so good. I'm so proud of this band right now. It's like amazing. This is a, like amazing. It's it's so cool. I'm, I'm so hyped. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's that shit. I'm no, hyped. that's awesome, man. We did a um, you know. In our opening segment, we usually do like a heavy metal news segment and everything. We cut that because we were just talking, you know, we were telling Chris and our listeners about, you know, about you guys and everything. And it's, you know, it's it's just, it's it's amazing. As what what I said, and this is something I'm going to say in my opening monologue when I introduce you guys. Um, right. You know, if you, if you the first time I saw you guys, I was like 16 years old. I'm 41 now, and um. If you had told me back then that I would be introducing you guys at your 30th anniversary show, yeah, I'd have been, you know, I'd have been like, oh, you're you're freaking crazy or whatever. And I'm, I'm, you know, I just want to, I just want to say right now, I don't know if the other guys are listening in the other room or something like that, but I just want to say I'm freaking honored, and you know, I, yeah, it's, it's, a, you know, it's, it's, it's incredible to be part of this. And I'm sure that the other guests that you guys have um, booked to, you know, to come on, you know, feel the exact same way. Yeah, dude, I'm telling, I'm just telling you right now, when you come to see this, you're gonna be like, wow, 
because this is going to be the best we've ever been. And I'm saying oh. I'm like 40, I'll be 46 years old this year. This is freaking stupid. <laughs> it, it's great. It's awesome. freaking great. So, so you've been in this band since you were 16 years old? 19. Yeah. I was 19 years old when I, when, we, when I started with these guys. Oh, okay. So you weren't an original member from 30 years ago? or No, but I was pretty much an original member. This band started like yeah, exactly. 19. Okay, okay. 19, I think in like 1980. Well, 1980s, I'm trying to keep up with, you know. Yeah, I think, I think they started like 1985. <laughs> And uh, I joined them, I joined them in 1988, but I've been like their bass player forever. Awesome! Yeah, I, that's I am the, very cool. I am, the Paul, I am the Paul Stanley of this band. You <laughs> absolutely are. Oh, yeah, well, well, if well, I could paint a picture for you, if I could paint a picture for you right now, take the best musical band that you know of that has a little grunge you know, depth to it and a little hardness to it. Oh, Throw some here. comedy into the vocals and the best theatrics you've ever seen, and that is dead serious right there. Mm-hmm. Now, can I, can I ask can I ask you a question about a one song in particular, um, and a, a stage prop? I mean, <clears throat> are we gonna? Uh, is, is potato is like? Go ahead. I mean, I know, I know you guys still have the the original Potato Head, but I mean, if if you don't yes. want to answer, that's fine. But I mean, is that one going to be there, or do you guys have something bigker planned? This this one's going to be a moot point. This is going to be like a, a surprise, and I can't okay. really talk about this one. Well, Chris, um, but, yeah, what, this, what I'm talking a, about, what I'm talking about is um, when the you know they had the song No More Pipe Potato. For Potato Head, it's about when the Surgeon General decided that Mr. Mr. Potato Head's pipe makes want to smoke, and um, and they had this <clears throat> Mr. Potato Head doll that was about like three feet tall, four feet tall, and it had a big pipe, and that and right. he, you know he, he's flicking birds with his fingers and everything, but the pipe pyrotechnics pyro, <laughs> yes. <laughs> It was like one of the coolest things I ever seen, and I was just wondering. It's just like, okay, are we gonna see the same potato head thing, or are we gonna, um, or is it gonna be something? Um, you know, yeah, we, is it we, gonna we, have a bong so or instead, or that we, would be kind we, of? We, we, have, we have a little surprise here for that. Nice. Point. Well, yeah, I I, 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 I don't, I want to give too much away, but yeah, we have no, don't give anything stuff. away. Yeah, don't yeah, give yeah, anything away, Jeff. So now, Joe, I have a question for you. About Uh-oh. 20 years ago, it was about that time. I didn't time. do it. I'm no, you the- didn't do it. It was me. But um, you guys were playing at the pub in Cocoa Beach. Yes. You guys played there many a times. Many a times hung the Rosemary Babies from the uh, rafters right there. Yes. And um, there was a night that there was a guy that um had a real lawnmower. Do you remember that night? Yeah, we talked. We actually talked about that before. Um, you came yes. around and like it brought the yeah, lawnmower. Yeah, no, no, here's in. the deal. I was actually going to bring a lawnmower on stage to introduce you guys when I was there, just for shits and giggles, just just to bring it back. But um, yeah, that 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 was not a good idea on my part by any means. <laughs> I was not in the, I was not in the right mind to make that decision, but. It was there, right by the back door, which was right mm-hmm. by the stage, if you remember. And um, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was it was quite fun. <laughs> I, I almost fun. ran over Will, Deadly, if, and Damian Johnson. If you don't enjoy what we do, and you know, get the fuck out. You know, that, this yeah. is fucking. This is what we do is fun. Everything is fun. I want. I want to go out. It is right up there. When I want to look out and see people, I want to see them smiling. And that's what we do. And that should be the the motivation of every band out there. And and, and your lyrics right there, it does hit the everyday band right there. When it comes to, you know, every song right there, you know, Buster's Got a Booger or um, uh, Lawn Characters, one of my favorites. Do we... 
Do we have another Guys, guest on the line? I see another phone number yeah, this here. Yeah, is, this, is, this is Mr. Deadly Serious himself. Oh, and what's up, so, Deadly? Hey! I know you. <laughs> <laughs> I just the greatest say entertainer. That, yeah, I just want to say that uh, whatever my bass player just told you is all true. <laughs> It's <laughs> <laughs> the first time that statement has ever been said. I don't know what he said, but I would I would believe every word. Will um, I want you every, to? Um, not everybody is mean to the base. I, I I understand that. So uh, do me a favor right there, Will. I want you to um, take that, caption it, and I want you to hold that. Please, because it's the first positive statement of a bass player on this show in two years. Thank you. <laughs> I, I'll go even further. I'll I'll let you know. And 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 Thunder, I think you can back me up on this. The bass player is the most important member of any rock band. And I agree with you with the foundation. Yeah, exactly. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I love are you guys Chris. doing? Are, uh, are you are you guys doing well tonight? Yes, sir. We're doing We're fantastic. We haven't uh, we haven't had a chance to chat since the holidays. I hope it was all good for you guys. Happy New Year! It was Year. fantastic. Now, uh, Thunder, are you? Uh, did you hurt yourself? I I did on uh, New Year's Eve. I was um, hanging out with my children. We were having a good time, and we were kind of wrestling around. And I turned the wrong way, and I blew my knee out. So you're but, uh, you're not gonna you're not coming down to see our show then. You're you're going to be MIA. I, yeah, I, I am, and I, and I hate that more than anything in the world. As a matter of fact, I've tried everything in the world to figure out how I could um, get down there, and uh, there's no way. I was out of work for two weeks and uh, trying to uh, figure out, not not just financially, but uh, fiscally, how I could get away from work yeah. for another week. Well, so you couldn't uh, no... charter thunder a helicopter or a... <laughs> Yeah, when when I used to tour with Poison, if Brett Michaels was going to miss a gig, they'd fly him in with a helicopter. They would drop lift him right to, right into the arena. <laughs> well, you, you know, as close as I am to that popularity right now, I'm about yeah. one inch off that right now. So I don't have the helicopter. I, I've got an ultralight, but I don't think I have enough gas to get down to Florida. Well, I, I would yeah, I would certainly be happy to. To, to try to accommodate you that if we can if we can offer to, to drop lift you into the, the theater that night I'd be up for that if you can, can find a way I, 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 honestly, honestly right now if you can find a way and I've always been so afraid of jumping out of an airplane because I don't think it's safe to jump out of a perfectly good airplane with a piece of silk tied to my back but if well, you I'm came wondering. up with it right now I will quit my job and I will jump in an airplane and I will skydive into the arena or outside the arena on Saturday to be there Maybe you can get into a giant cannon, and then they can just they can point it towards Florida. And, That's a big cannon. Know, I love that. that. <laughs> That's a big cannon yeah. from Tennessee. And I'm telling you what, I don't want to be. You have to do it. You have to be. You have to do it the bass player way. You know, some weird life. All right, whatever. That's fine. I don't care. All right, shoot me out of a cannon. I'll do it. I like the cannon idea, Christiana. I think you you nailed it right on the head there. We'll blast him in through a cannon. Yeah, yeah, that could be on the DVD. Yeah, that could be on the extras and the bonus DVD. Okay, do you guys realize that my nickname is the Thunder Midget? So if I get shoot out of a cannon from Tennessee to Florida, I'll probably lose another three, four inches, and then I'll have to be—I mean, a real midget. That's that's not. I mean, (laughs) from what from what I understand, here as it is. (laughs) Well, you'll still be taller than me, so it doesn't matter. Dude, my knees already (laughs) messed up right now. I mean, I don't need an MRI for my back. I mean, from what I understand, you can't afford to lose another three more inches. No, I can't. I can't afford to lose an inch. That's what my wife said. What I hear. I don't know what that told, means, but that's what I hear. I, I can explain. I can explain. I told Jeffrey, my wife we've been, been married. Have you been talking to his ex-wife? La, 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 la. <laughs> I, have an, I have an answer for that. I told my wife I needed some strength. She said if I had an inch or two more, I'd get some. But anyway. <laughs> well, listen, man, you will be you'll Talk be with me. us in spirit. Uh, will Will is gonna I, I, is gonna. He's going to bring the bring flavor of the show right down center stage. He's going to introduce us to the show. 
Uh, we've sold several hundred tickets. We're just about sold out. Uh, we should be uh, completely sold out here in the next day or so, and uh, it's going to be huge. And we're we're honored to have uh, to have somebody from the show coming down and 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 representing uh, your program uh, on our stage. We're we're honored to have Will down, and uh, it's going to be a great time. We're having so for it, those uh, of you out there, uh, for those of you listeners out there who are listening to the show. And you still have a chance to get down there and get your ticket if you're listening to this and decide you like what you're here. <coughs> if you're in the Florida area, go and see the show. Buy a ticket before they're all gone. Yeah, it's it's uh it's it's a great venue. It's a it's a world class performing arts center. Uh, we're uh, we're honored to to even have been uh, uh, asked to play this, especially for our 30th anniversary. To have that kind of a celebration in that type of a, a world class venue is uh, is really uh, humbling. You know, it's a, it's an honor, and we're uh, we're looking forward to it, and we're looking forward to Will coming uh, back down to Florida and and uh, hanging out with him, and uh, we're having the show uh, professionally shot. Uh, multi-camera angle, so even uh, even though you can't make it thunder, you'll you'll be able to uh, as soon as the video is uh, edited and produced, you'll be able to to watch it and feel like you were right there in the middle of the action. Now, is there like so a, you, you do, know what, you know a, do you have a ballpark estimate on when that DVD might be ready, or a, like a potential release date that you guys might see that? I've not discussed a specific turnaround with the guy, the, with 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 the company that that's coming in. We've got a crew of uh, three or four uh, people with the with the video company. Uh, I the impression that I get is that we're probably probably won't be looking much more than maybe a couple of weeks to uh, to have that wow. out and available. And uh, wow, we've that's got a, really quick. Yeah, we've got a great uh, indie label that we're uh, signed to now that is really behind us in terms of uh, getting merch out. Uh, they're committed to uh, getting uh, the home video out. Uh, we're going to be uh, – be they're, they're actually the label that's putting out the Dead Serious tribute album uh, in a few weeks. We're going to be going in the studio uh, with them and working on a brand-new album this summer. <laughs> And they're also in the process of going through all of our old master reels. And within the next few weeks, the entire Dead Serious catalog will be finally, for the first time, available uh, through iTunes. So wow. just having, having the support of a, a, a label that, that believes in us has really been a, a game changer. So, you know, by the time we speak again, maybe in the spring, uh, the, the full dead serious search operation will be, uh, uh, will, will, will be in production and, uh, and all of our, our old records will be available globally and we'll be, uh, we'll be smack in the thick of, uh, working on a brand new album. So it's, uh, it's very uh it, it's very exciting again uh to to be in dead serious we had been a little uh, uh uh a little inactive for a while but last year when uh when you guys uh motivated us to to get back in the game it just really exploded uh bigger than ever so we're looking at uh coming into our 30th year and instead of being at the end of the story it's kind of like uh we're just beginning which is very exciting you know for a so you can actually artist. say you can say with certainty that it was the will and thunder show that brought you guys back together and started this i whole. would I would blame Will and Thunder almost completely for this <laughs> debacle. That's awesome. You I know mean, what? Uh, hey, you know, Chris, we, you we know what? We always like to say what a magical show we are. and, and Everything you know, was fine. A lot of the times we joke. Oh, Everything was fine in our world until those two morons had to jump in the middle and get it all stirred I up know, and bring it back to life again. And, <laughs> and don't know. blame me. I didn't do it. <laughs> you know, Dan... <laughs> I want to. I want to tell you one thing, Dan. Actually, without no, you, yes, you without you, none, none, of, none of this would be possible. And I appreciate the accolades that you give us. And um, well, you know what? It's so please, beautiful hold on. to hold be on. a part no, of that, know, right we there. We have that effect Thunder. on bands. We just, you know, magical things Thunder. happen when. <laughs> hold on. Go ahead. The the way that it happened was um, we just we had Joe Del Corvo and Steve Harvey from another. Florida 
band um, called Who Was I yep. on the show, and we we just got, you know, it was just a, you know, we had a we had a guest cancel on us, and it was just like kind of a last minute thing, and we were just talking. And we just got talking about like the possibility of a dead serious reunion concert. Now the thing with the um with the tribute album that was already in the works with the you know, with the band's blessing and everything, but they had hadn't really talked about a reunion. No, and, we had no interest or, or no plan to do anything other than just to support this label that was doing the uh, the, the tribute album. And then after right. Joe, like you said, Joe on, on the other line, uh, our bass player who was talking to you a second ago, right. you know, like, like you said, that's exactly the truth. You know, you had Joe on the show and, and you got Joe's enthusiasm uh, charged up and then Joe got me on the so, phone and, uh, and he wouldn't let me go until I gave in, you know, and now I'm, I'm glad I did. We're, uh, we're at a, an all time high in the uh, story of our band. Yeah, and we're you know it's just, we're I, <laughs> I'm so I'm so happy to you know be part of that. It's you know I was telling Joe you know before you came on that I'm you know if you would ask me yeah. the first time I saw you guys I was like 16 years old, and um, if you had asked me then it's like you know if you told me then that I was going to be introducing you guys on your you know 30th anniversary show I'd have looked at you funny. <laughs> yeah, I would have looked at you funny too, because I remember when you were sixteen. I wouldn't have let you on my stage. <laughs> uh, you know, you know. And you guys, you know hey, listen, hold it, hold it a second. My phone Go is ahead. about ready to die. My phone is getting ready to die. I'm going to turn this back over to Joe and let him wrap up with you. Uh, but I just want to say thanks for your support. Uh, thanks for believing in us. Uh, Will, we're looking forward to seeing you here in a couple of days and uh, bring you on stage to introduce us. We're excited about all of that, and uh, I'm going to turn it over to Joe, and he's going to uh, see you out, and I'm going to plug my phone into the wall. Well, have a good right. show on Saturday or Sunday, and um, congratulations to all the, the upcoming projects, and uh, you know, kick ass on this weekend. We'll speak to you guys soon. Thanks again. Awesome. And thank Dead, you. Deadly serious, everybody. Woohoo! Yeah, we're on the Yeah, we're talking to you now. That's right. <laughs> we, what up, bitch? What up? <laughs> I, I'm, nah, I'm, I mean, I'm you know, to my, my guitar player, my drummer out here. We're still at rehearsal right now. Actually, yeah. I want you to say hi. Oh, Steve Foley, right now. Sweet. We gotta put him on. Hello. Hello. Steve, what's up, man? What's going, what's going on, on man? Steve? Put him on the phone. Huh? Hello. Hey, Steve, what's, what's going on, brother? What's going on? Oh man, uh, just chilling. That's about it. Just uh, doing a couple more songs and um, heading to the house. <laughs> well, man, uh, congratulations, man, uh, to, uh, man, you guys got a big thing going on Saturday night, man, ready to roll, man? Oh, yeah, 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 we're, we're going to kick it. Sweet. Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, we're, you know, I, I'm stoked, I'm, you know, I, I'm going to, um, I'm going to see you guys, bef you know, before the show and everything, and, um, obviously, you know, the day of, and, you know, the after party and everything, but, I mean, I'm, I'm stoked, I mean, I, I haven't been... You know, <laughs> you, 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 you know how stoked you are right now. Well, mention how Steve feels right now, man. I mean, I understand that. You, I mean, you, you're coming in right now a little, a little late in the project, but I mean, to be with a band like this and a band you've been with before, and to be a part of this gigantic 30 year anniversary, man, it's got to be so awesome for you, man. You, you got to feel like you won the lottery almost. Absolutely. I mean, it's 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 really awesome. I mean, you know, the guys in the band are awesome. They're they play great, and um, you know, um, I can't bitch. Went from rags to riches to rock and roll. So here we go. That's right, right there. And you know, hey, I mean, uh, what have you done? I mean, I, you played with Dead Serious before, right? Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, in the eighties, and then um. Went back and forth, text, and uh, you know it's all good. You know they're good. they're like my family, so it's you know I walked right in. What did you do? Family. What did you do between that? I mean, you were still playing with bands, or have you been kind of uh, sitting on the side and waiting, you no, know, for no, something no, to come no, back? No, or 
no, I was playing with the Scoobies for quite a while. Um, okay. You know, yeah, and I know, I'm sure you know that band. Um, we played around Absolutely. the place. And, and um, then I had my own band, Blue Rooster, which we played quite a bit. And then I was down in Miami playing in a band called Sweat and Bullets. And um, I know it's a dumb name, but it's what the singer had in No, no, it's good, man. So. Look, there's no dumb names for bands, man. There's so many bands out there right there, and everybody's got a name for something. So, I mean, you just got to take what you get when you, I mean, you kind of think of a name. And uh, just like Sweat and Bullets, we, we had a band called Black Mariah, and we had uh, Matt yeah, Stone. Cool. I mean, you, what would you that think at the cool. time? It sounds cool as hell. You well, never know what's going to come out. I, I wanted to ask, maybe it's probably too late, but we we talked about earlier the, the origins of the name Dead Serious, so I guess this would be a, a good time for you guys to, to fill us in. Those of us who are not from Florida and don't really know your well, history that well. Not the name Dead Serious, but the spelling of it. The, yeah, the, exactly. yeah, Will was saying there's an origin story to the, the reason why it's spelled the way it is and so on, so if anybody wants to throw that out there. Right. Um, uh, um, uh, well, hold on a second. Joe can probably explain it a little bit. Like, I just look, hey, look, man, I, it's like me. I'm like, I'm just a bass player. Like, I just fucking play guitar. I don't know what the fuck they call it, dead serious. I'm just a guitar player. Yeah, Why do you guys call it this shit? No, Why is the spelling wrong? It's just, it's just going to be a. Well, hold on. Here's Joe for you. That's fine. What you want? What you want? <laughs> what you want? Um, I want um, the, um, the story behind the story behind uh, the spelling of dead serious. Oh well, that that came by. Nobody uh, graduated. I don't. Uh, I'm just kidding. The the original flyer uh, guy screwed up on the name, and he was supposed to spell it serious like the real serious, but he spelled it like S E R I O S. And that that's how the name came about. Yeah, it's just, just kind of stuck. It's kind of it's kind of like a it's kind of like a bad tattoo. You're if if the yeah. artist screws up, you're kind of stuck with it. <laughs> like that but movie with the. Uh, cool, but well, no regrets, no regrets, not one, no, not everything, one letter, no, dude. Every, everything's good, man. I told you, I'm 46 years old. This is all good. We're gonna yes, kill sir. it. <clears throat> gonna kill you know. Um, the whole time this show's been going on since you guys came on and everything, you know, it's it's, it's ironic that we're like coming up on the Super Bowl. Um, this show I don't tonight, talk about it. Kinda, well, whatever. <laughs> Fuck. um, <laughs> this, <laughs> this bullshit. Show, the bullshit this, call. Everybody knows fucking Des Bryant had that fucking touchdown. Don't want to talk. Yeah, about and it. everybody knows it was passing the <laughs> two in the last game. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's but, probably um, whatever. We'll, we'll talk about it uh, all day long. <laughs> <laughs> but um, don't matter. But it's like you know how the um, you know the the press and everything leading up to the Super Bowl. You know, you know how energetic it is and everything with like interviews, like here and there and all that stuff. That's kind of the feel that I'm getting with this freaking sh- you know with this show. I mean, it's I like, agree with you, Will. I agree. I feel, it's, I, this is a I'm Super like, Bowl of rock and roll music right here. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm, I'm like, I'm like pumped, and talking to you guys about it is, it's just like pumping it up even more. I mean, this is, this isn't just the. Well, it's definitely more, the Super Bowl of the Will and Thunder show for sure. Uh, well, I mean, it's true. This exactly. is the band that the show brought together, and you know, kind of represents <laughs> our whole, uh, well, their journey that they began, and that I've kind of just come along for the ride since then, but. Well, come on for the ride and wait, and, and wait till you see the CD and the DVD that they put out right there because I'm telling you right now, you have never seen a show like you're going to see between these four guys right here will do something that you will never, ever, I mean, I, I never see again. They're fantastic. Well, and first of I, all, I probably, musically. I should probably uh, mention real quick since we're getting towards the top of the hour, um, and Will said we have a six-minute song here on the line. So we should probably yes. go and play that now so we have time for everybody to hear it. And then also because uh, the show goes into overtime in a few minutes, so that gives us time to kind of yeah, let we, everybody we fin- do their thing. Yeah, we we got to finish the rehearsal. Right. All right, okay. well, you know what? 
But all right, there. Um, uh, hold on, before before we get going, I you know I was just um I just wanted to ask once you know like I, I just brought up it kind of had like a you know lead up to the Super Bowl atmosphere. I mean, is that what you know what what's it like you know with boots on the ground down there in Florida? I mean, are are people like really pumped about it and stuff? I mean, you know, I mean, is is there a buzz about it? You know, around around the you know the hometown. <laughs> Are you, are you talking about what are you talking about? Here? That's your show. The show or the but Super no, Bowl? Dude. <laughs> your show. I'm not talking about the Super Bowl. I'm just comparing well, it like to you the. Said, about, of the Super I, don't Bowl. Want to, I don't even want to talk about football right now. It's not even funny. I'm talking about so. football. I'm talking Every, about everybody the, knows the Des Bryant had that freaking catch. <laughs> I, I no, he's asking about the show. I'm talking about uh, the build no. up. You know, the build up. Yeah. Is there a Every, buzz around? Everything's Oh yeah, everything's gonna be cool. It's like it's this is gonna be like incredible, incredible. If you don't have your freaking ticket yet, you better start buying it now. It's like <laughs> we're almost done with that. Yeah, there's like, only like almost, what ten yeah. tickets left. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, so all of you listeners out there who are in the area and want to go check out a good rock band, there's only a few tickets left. So uh, yeah, he who has a taste is lost. If you guys yeah, want to go see the best. Show you can ever see with a rock band playing right here. Hey, hey, you gotta go see this series right there. They're, they're great musicians. Great, I mean, you know, they're, they're, look, they're, New York City couldn't handle the stage show that they have. No. And I can't wait to see what you guys are doing right here. And Will, you bet. I mean, uh, you better bring me back um, one of the DVDs. If not, I'll buy one. You know, as soon as I can find one. But I'm just saying. Well, right yeah. Now, you guys. Go ahead and play the song then, so that way our listeners can uh, can yeah. hear what they, you know, have an incentive to go check out the show on and, and Bill, Saturday. And Bill, you better get ready for the after show party too. Oh, damn! Right. Yeah, I wish. Right. Yeah, I wish right. I could be there. Anyway, so, uh, uh, which song are we playing right now? Uh, it's that? a six minute song. I've got two left. Like, I've got two left. I've got um, on the prowl, and I've got go to the mall. Go to the mall is like six minutes long. So. Hey, you're, play playing like old, you're playing like old shit. <laughs> yeah, it's old, old stuff, yeah. Well, that, that well, was, that was by re- one, then. That was by request. Hey, hey, I mean, my, my, my favorite is coming hey, to the next, listen, you know. Listen, listen, I don't know how bad this is going to be. If I screw my cell phone, listen. They're going to play something. <laughs> You heard that? We heard it. Yes, sir. Very cool. <laughs> it was playing like Hendrix. <laughs> Not bad. So, so which one on, on the prowl or go to the mall? I want you to go. I want you to go a little newer school, but I don't know if you have it in your uh, repertoire right there. Those are the songs <laughs> that you have to pick from. <laughs> All right, we'll just pick one and just play it. Deadly well, I, I was going to say go with the longer one, but. Hey, I got, I got to jump with these guys and uh, finish this up. But, uh, okay, well, um, all right, well, th- thank you for being on the show. We're, uh, we're going to go ahead and play um, On the Prowl. And um, but thank you, thank you for being on the show, and I'll see you guys in a couple of days, brother. Yeah, looking forward to being hey, hey, on the show. And uh, you're better, man. Thank you so much. Uh, have a great thank show you. this weekend. And thank you very much, we'll... man. Hey, Joe, man, kill it, man. Bass player, bass player, man. I know you. Hey, I'm best I'm singer since Steve Harris, just, man. I'm gonna do this kill it, brother. You. All right, brother. All right, right man. Here, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna dedicate this for you. All right, buddy. <laughs> And, and hey, by the way, I, I want to say this real fast. Yes. Happy birthday to Paul Stanley today. Oh, Happy birthday, cool. Paul Stanley. <laughs> 63 today. All right, we'll talk <laughs> to you later, brother. All right, guys, take it easy, man. All right, bye. All right Have a great ass. show. Thank you. All right, um, all right that, was, that was Joe Del Corpo, Steve Pooley, and... Um, and of course, the legendary Deadly Serious um, Thunder has disappeared again. He's actually disappeared from the board. 
But I guess um, he figured that they left, so now he can leave too. But thanks, Thunder. I'll, ca- I'll call him on my cell phone, tell him he needs to call back in because we're going to go to overtime. I'm um, just okay. shit. Cause, but let's let's go ahead and play this song. This one, um, this one's called "On the Prowl," and once again, it's a vintage '80s um, dead serious song. And we'll be right back on the One Thunder Show. Why isn't it playing? Show. We're going to go ahead and wrap things up. Um, look forward to the So, Leave It to concert. Thunder, he calls during the song, and I hear the phone no, ringing, I, but... I called him. I called him. But oh, okay, anyway, okay. it's all right. Uh, we're going to, you know, we're going to take it out. Um, <clears throat> we've got about 30 seconds left before it cuts us off. 
we're not going to go to overtime tonight. But that that's all good. But uh, we will definitely see you guys next week. And y'all have a good weekend. I know I am. Hey, this is Joey from Asia, and you're listening to The Will and Thunder Show.